Welcome, one and all, to some more Kubera. Bit of a strange um, way to start this, but hey, yes, let us um, just cut the bullshit and just get right into reading it. Claude, Ashirahiro came to visit you. Ah, you finally came. You use such an annoying way to call just one person out. You use such an annoying way just to call just one person out. This is convenient for me. By the way, Asha, I don't think you should be yelling at me like that, if you want to save your friend. I'm guessing you don't mind being accused as a murderer then? I'm confident that I can slip away. I see. The same goes for me as well. Bavati Marut. Uh, Asha, have you got mad? Using a Marut spell in a place where calculations can be disturbed. You are reckless, unlike what I thought. The mid disruption is not a problem for me to use this size of a Marut spell. Uh, Asha, so the sign was only supposed to scare me? I'm still talking. Uh, okay. So, Claude, now that you should know who's superior, shall we talk about my friend again? I just need to say one thing. If Liz dies because you don't release her from the spell, you'll die with her. Season 2, Chapter 33, Reflection 7. So he took the spell off right away. Yep. You should have shown your face at least once before you were released. I couldn't see it probably because of your hat. Uh, my face became somewhat similar to someone famous, so... Maybe I should have shown Ran my face and told him the truth. Then would Ran have looked at me differently? But... Let's keep it a secret, Lise. Your name, along with... What you've gone through because of that name. Try not to let anyone he hear of it. Especially when I cannot be around. No, I shouldn't. If I tell him that I'm Rowley's door, he might start asking questions like where I used to live, and so on. Then, I may also need to talk about my real name, and how my village was attacked because of that name. It's a shame, but I should not start talking about it. I can just... Laugh it off when he treats me like a little kid, but I should keep the secrets to myself, as Asha said. By the way, Yuta, you really eat endlessly. No, I didn't mean to stop you, keep- stop you. Keep eating. Another plate of meat, please. Was it Asha? When you said that someone will visit you? Hmm, well... Yes, it was. So, did you achieve what you wanted? <laughs> no. She was tougher than I thought. I don't know about you- I don't know what you don't- I don't know what you don't like about Asha, but I suggest that you don't mess with her recklessly. There are quite a lot of magicians who hate Asha, but she still has more fans. I know. Your younger sister was the president of Asha's fan club when she was in university. You mean Irie? Yes, but Irie was in her senior year when Asha entered the university, so she couldn't do it for long. Then why did you? Irie would get mad. At, would get mad if she finds out about this. Well, for several reasons, actually. There was something I really wanted to know, and that's resolved now. She seemed to be hesitant about to abandoning the losing hand, so I told her that it won't last long. But she still thinks it's worth protecting. So, are we staying here until that test of the sword or whatever begins? Yes, the temple is not officially open yet, so don't wander around. Yep, your wish is my command, Asha. It's because she... Is it because she had gone through such a lethal situation? She seems to be... She seems to behave so well today. By the way, where did you to go? You said he's not feeling well. I looked for the reason, and found out there were uh, ingredients that were extracted from flowers in the meat he ate today. It barely has any scent, and he was too hungry to notice. Jeez. Damn, I had no idea, so I ordered more meat for him. 
Shall we order raw meat from outside the temple? Although it'll cost more. No, we don't need to. Eating a lot of meat from ordinary animals is not as good as eating one sura anyway. And since the temple is located outside the checkpoint, you two can go out to hunt if he needs to. There's almost no one around here since the temple is not open yet, so there's barely any chance he'd get caught. He's still less in when the temple is not open yet. Your magic ranking is pretty useful, huh? You will soon be in double A when you graduate, so don't see any reason so I don't see any reason for you to be jealous about my rank. You know, that ranking system. Do you think it has to be based on test scores? Asha, you're fifth, but you can still beat Claude, who's the second, if you two fight, right? I heard from Lee's that you completely had Cla Claude up against the wall earlier. So I wish the ranking system were based on one's skills. You can't be a double A because of your attribute. You mean, you don't think you can beat me with your skills? You were so happy when you figured out your test scores beat mine. Tests are just tests. Ah, I'm not saying that I'm reconsidering the results of our bet, so don't get me wrong. But I beat you just by comparing our magic exam scores. But I haven't beaten you with my skills. Frankly speaking, I don't think I can. Oh, mother. Why is the Temple of Chaos so complicated? If I could only hear them, I'd be able to find them. Ah, Ash's voice. Hmm? What is this place? Oh shit, so... I was gonna mention this, but I was gonna mention it at the end of the uh, episode, but um... Well, chapter. But uh, I guess it's coming up before then, but yeah. The Lake of Reflection. I'm wondering how many secrets are going to inadvertently get revealed here. Part of me does suspect that Yuta's true self might get revealed. But we'll have to wait and see. A lake? I can't see the bomb. What's it for? Hmm? It's gone. I don't know what it was, but it feels unpleasant. Chapter 17, Reflection, End. Next chapter, The Test of the Sword. We'll probably do three, maybe four, depending on how long it takes us to get through episodes this week. So, we'll wait and see how things go. As the opening of the temple approached, the red sky started to fade. They say the red sky becomes completely yellow during the Test of the Sword, and turns back to red once it's over. I'm working on the magic called Bhavati Kubera, with the book I borrowed from the temple library. I read about half the book, and it doesn't seem as difficult as I thought. Asha is reading books like The Biology of Sura, and Sura and Puberty, all day long. And sometimes when Claude <coughs> would come by to visit her, she pretends to not be in a room with the door closed. If she, if he comes in before she closes her door, she uses Hotivayu. I guess she doesn't want to see his face at all. I heard that Claude is the priest in Rindhallow. He may be a priest, but I really don't want to show him any respect. I don't really want to show any show him any respect to him. Interesting. After what he has done to me. I don't understand what he's doing here. I heard that he's not even interested in the Test of the Sword. Ah, he did apologize for casting a spell on me, but I can't cut him any slack when it was a killing spell. Since I have one more chance to ask him a question, I'm thinking of asking someone, some kind of trickery question for him to answer. It seems that Ran has a meeting, has been meeting the fighters who came to participate in the Test of the Sword, but I have no idea what he is doing when he meets them. He said that he is going to take the test for fun, seeing him donating so much money to the temple just for fun. I don't really get the rich, and Utah, he would usually sit by my side, but for some reason, I don't see it. I haven't seen him since this morning. Season two, chapter thirty-four, the test of the sword, one. I've just said that she'll be in front of the temple around lunchtime, so I need to finish hunting and go back before then. It wouldn't take so long if I can just hunt, 
but the only the ones that try to attack you. Uh, I lowered my transcendental value enough so that other Sura could think that I'm prey. Hope this works. Someone, anyone, please attack me. Please. I'm starving. Uh, uh, move aside! Ah, sorry. I'm practicing for the test, but I can't control the direction very well. Is this a kind of attack? It is kind of an attack, but she's too small to feed my stomach. Moreover, she's a half. God, I'm starving. And by the way, what are you doing here? The checkpoint of the city is all the way around the side. Ah, you're going to the Temple of Chaos? Well, the, te the, tra the test of the sword will begin soon, but the temple isn't officially open yet, so you can't get in unless you're associated, accompanied with a high-ranking magician. She keeps chatting by myself. By herself. She reminds me of Lise. Who's Lise? Uh, did I say that out loud instead of thinking? But, wait. How can she understand me? Is this that surprising? You thought I wouldn't be able to hear you, right? <laughs> It's a rare skill, even amongst halves, and it's difficult when it's not even so useful. I, I see. Oh well, I suppose it makes sense since Mr. Kasak was able to do it too. I'm with a magician who's staying at the Chaos Temple. I'm out here just for a walk, so I can go back in with that magician. Just for a walk? Sir might appear out here. Well, I know that the, the Temple of Chaos is a bit unpleasant is, and stuffy. Uh, by the way, I can only hear, but can you talk like a Sura? That's amazing. I heard that Mr. Kasak is the only half enough planet who can speak in Sura. Did you learn it by yourself by any chance? Uh, yeah, it just happened somehow. That's awesome. Then can you teach me how to do it? I'll pay you as much as I can for it. I saved some money and I have a couple of God class items that the Union Master gave me. I'll teach you next time we meet. I have some things to do right now. Okay, I'm also going to the temple when the test of the soul begins, so I'll see you then. My name's Elwin Rakan. I'm Yuta. Yep, Yuta, you're older than me, right? You look at least twice my age. Uh, uh-huh. Then, Yuta, don't act like a stranger to me when we meet again, okay? Ah, by the way, don't go that way. I saw a couple of Ana Sura of the Ananta tribe there. They seem to be Umpani level by judging from their size. They're very dangerous. Ananta tribe, huh? Hmm. I wonder. So, go this way. Or, or the best thing for you to is to go back to the temple. <laughs> is hunger. N16, month of chaos. Schedule for the test of the sword. First month, 1 through 12. First to the 12th. First, te first test res registration. First month, 13th, first test. 14th to 24th, second test registration. 25th, second test. In case of applicant overflow for the first test, applicants will be accepted on a first come first serve basis. First test fee, uh, an amount, I, I, is it 20 silver? Or is that 20 gold? I do not know. Or is that 20,000? I, the way they write the pricings, I don't understand. What's the first test and what's the second test? They divide the test into two to prevent tests from overflowing with people. But if someone from the first test succeeds in pulling the sword out, then the second test won't ever be won't even be held. So it's better to register for the first test if you can, hence why it's more expensive. I see, but you need to study for the test or do some kind of preparation? You need to you don't need you don't need to. The tests are the types that cannot be mastered by cramming, and there's no secret of any kind to pass the test, so only one part of the test which may benefit from practicing in advance is the nerve test. By the way, that test changes every year, so you can't really prepare for it unless you find out what the test will be beforehand. You don't need magic to take the test, right? Of course not. They wouldn't make you use magic in a place where calculations can be disturbed. <laughs> it's a relief, whatever the test may be. Ah, Asha, Yuta. Did you... Oh, you look great. Did you eat something nice or something? Cut the crap. Have you been practicing the transcendental skills? 
Don't tell me that you were just wasting your time. Gosh, Asher, Asher, you keep saying the same thing about the transcendental skills, but do you have any idea how hard it is to learn without a teacher? I think it'd be better to learn magic instead of wasting all that time. An easy way, an easy to read summary of Bhavati Kubera. So, you mean you were only reading the book about Bhavati Kubera, huh? N no, I mean, I really did try to do as hard to, really did try hard to do as you say, but no matter how much I think about it, this is more, I am changing the conditions of the bet. What? Learn Bhavati Kubera instead of the transcendental skills. So keep reading it and try to master it. Whoa, thanks, Asha. Yay! I only have to learn this? Poor her. I guess she only read the beginning of the book. Should I tell her? No. That will put me at this advantage. As Lise keeps reading the book, she is in despair. When she reaches chapter 7, the following subjects are omitted. Chapter 7. Uh... And last, the test of the sword began. I mean, I get the feeling she's probably going to end up being able to use Hoti, uh, not Hoti, Bavati Kubera anyway. Just at some point naturally, kind of how she is able to with uh, Kub Hoti Kubera without calculations, so. Um, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Look, she does look really good. Let's be real. Tio looks really good. Anyway. Those of you who are in the Fighters Union must have seen my face many times now. I am Teo Rakan. I would like to welcome you all... Uh, I'd like to welcome all of you to the opening of the Chaos Temple. Along with the Test of the Sword in the new year of N16. So is, um... I assume that the month of chaos is at the start of the year. Either that or it's the end of the year. Terracon, quarter, age 49, president of the Calabloom Fighters Union. Fighter ranking number two, magic ranking A+, magic ranking number nine, priestess of chaos. As always, so many of you have applied for the test this year. As a priestess, I'm very glad. She's not used to walking in heels, is she? Ah, it's been too long since I wore this kind of dress, so I'm not used to it. That's the president of the Fighters Union and the Priestess of Chaos? Wow, she's amazing. But I can't see clear her clearly since we're too far away. Applicant number 98, Lee's Heiss. Lee Heiss? It's Lee's, not Lee Heiss. It's Lee's Heiss. Typesetting or proofreading wasn't done properly. Age 17, real name, Kibera Lee's. No ranking information. Applicant number 99, Utah age, mm, yeah. participating as a half. No ranking information. She looks like this. What the fuck? Man, this is good at drawing, huh? Wow, I've never seen your drawing before, Yuta. Oh, look at that. That pretty much looks like her. Ah, excuse me, huh? No, it's... Uh, there, there. Were you scared of that half run? Hey. Could you catch that? Could you try again? That's interesting. Somehow that triggered my Siri and that was picked up on the mic. Um, I don't even know why that would have triggered Siri because my phone should be muted. In fact, it is muted. That's an interesting blooper for the video. Um, I'm not cutting that out. That'll stay in. That's really weird. I have no idea why. Um... That triggered my Siri, because my phone's muted, and even if it did trigger it, it shouldn't have played out loud. That's really strange. Anyway, Applicant 97, Ran Syrov, quarter age 37, magic rank BB, AA to B. Once recognized to be talented enough to win first place in the Children's Fighters Championship, but after developing a phobia of halves since the upheaval, he gave up on becoming a fighter, where there are so many halves. Hey, Chicky, keep acting up and I will- You promise not to call me Chicky anymore. You didn't listen to me and went out, so I take it back. Number 100. What a nice round number. Huh? You in as well, Asha? I thought you were here only as a sponsor. It's better than to just watch without doing anything. Applicant number 100. Asha Rahiro. 
Age, 21. Magic rank, A++. Magic ranking number 5, no fighter ranking, known as a typical pure-blooded magician. Known as. I sense bullshit. Especially given what we know about Asha, you know, being from a different planet or such. I'm sure you're all aware of it, but I'll explain it anyway, since it's part of the program. The reason not to give everyone a chance to approach the sword and selecting the ones through the test is for the sake of the temple security. The moment the passage to the sword of return is opened, all security systems must be turned off. So, we're trying to minimize the danger by limiting the number of people approaching the sword to the test. For the test of the sword, we analyze in detail the profiles of the former owners of the sword. And, based on their common grounds, the cutoff point is set. This year I wanted this year I arranged a test however I wanted. So it can be more tricky. Boo! That's mean. You who just booed? Come see me later. Ah. Uh, well, now let the test of the sword begin. Season 2, chapter 35, the test of the sword 2. Test of strength. Breaking pine boards made from the tree of Eloth Mountain. You must break through at least 20 pine boards with one barehanded strike. 14. You fail. Ah, uh, I just slipped to it. Because you give me another chance. Nope, I can't. Come back for the second test. I heard the strength, ten the strength test was the same every year, but it's a bit different this year. Yes, it seems the other participants are also stalled. Punching like this requires some tricks. Oh well. If you're strong enough, you'll be able to break 20 balls regardless of the way you hit it, so it doesn't matter, does it? It's the ones who are not strong enough that need to use tricks. Yuta, look at this. This is the board they use for the test. They say it's wood, but it's hard as rock. Here, touch it. <laughs> um, actually, this is the... I know. You keep it. Applicant 97, round Syrov. Please come forward. Oh, it's finally my turn. I'm next! Uh, Ron Syroth? Isn't he an AA candidate? Ah, uh, yes, that's him. I heard he doesn't like being around halves, but he's in a place where there are so many halves. I guess it's gotten better. By the way, isn't he just a magician? I thought he was nothing to do with fighters. <laughs> I knew it. Magicians don't even know the basics. How would he punch like that? He just wasted his money for the test, lol. 94! Gosh, what? He he broke over 90? Applicant 97, Ron Syro, has passed the first test. I wouldn't be able to do that even if I use Hody Kibera. He could do it barehanded? Jeez. What the? I should have tried harder. Now I think about it. He's a Yaksha core. The Yaksha tribe is originally strong. Didn't you see a Yaksha half earlier who broke 70 boards? I got a quarter, be stronger than a half. Oh? Ron, you're not a weakling anymore? Huh? I was never a weakling. Since when was my image a weakling? You won't beat my record. Watch me. She's turned the bandit the bangle on. I'm gonna wipe out all a hundred of them. Beep beep. Item usage has been detected. Usage using items to reinforce your strength is against the rules. Huh? Uh, wait. This item's function is to suppress my strength, so if I don't have this on, I won't even be able to use my normal strength. Well, we can't tell if it's your normal strength or the effect of an item. So, you have to take the test in a way that the effect of the item isn't detected at all. Pun? Phew, it's finally over. The others will take care of the rest. Fortunately, my dress was able to be fixed since there was a restoration magician there. But this is so embarrassing. A long dress, high heels. I can't do this anymore. Why can't priests wear armor for official events? They keep traditions for some weird part. Gosh, this is so awkward. Lipstick tastes nasty, and my fake eyelashes feel like I got something stuck in my eye. Now you look like a priestess in that dress. Yep, it was God Harper with his fucking fur coat. But you don't look so good if you hold your dress up like that. And she steps on it again. Ah! I was just checking if my dress was ripped because I stepped on it earlier. Yep. It's ripped worse than it was before. Ah. Uh, poor Teo. Poor, poor Teo. 
but yeah, there we are. We'll leave it here for today because of that weird... I probably could have gotten another, you know, episode done, but I, you know, I can't be asked if I'm being honest, especially with that weird bit in the middle that ate up a bunch of time. Well, I would say in the middle during this episode. But anyway, um, yeah. Bit of a <laughs> scuffed read-through. But either way, I've been Animosity. You've been you. And I hope to catch you on next time for another video. Ta-ta. Bye now.